So you're in the military or you're joining the military and you're like, man, I want to make some YouTube videos. I want to make some TikToks. I want to be on social media. I want to be a military social media influencer. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I pull up to the spot. This shit way too fucking lit. Members only in my gang. What's our queen to All right, so I mean, I've been in for like six months. Um, I've heard like horror stories of... You know, people getting in trouble for stuff that they put on social media. Uh, a lot of my job in the Navy kind of has to do with this area. So it's, it's really sensitive for me. Um, a while back ago, I took down a lot of my videos just because I felt like, hey, you know, maybe the Navy is not going to like this. So I was like, I should make a video just about rules and regulations, just kind of some tips for you guys, just so nobody gets in trouble. Um, this is general advice that has been given to me by the actual people who review social media. Um, and, and this isn't just in the Navy, this is like every branch because I live on a joint base. So, I mean, I talk to people in the Army, the Marine Corps, all of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys just a couple of the tips that they've told me uh, for being an influencer in the military. All right, so my first tip is just kind of kind of be common sense, but Maybe you guys need to hear it because I know there's one person out there just being an absolute dirtbag. And so this is for you, man. Do not violate the UCMJ in any type of way. All of the ways that they tell you to act, especially if you're in uniform, act that way on camera. So don't be don't be making a fool of yourself, saying anything racist, saying anything sexist. Don't do anything like that, because honestly, that is worth more trouble than it's worth. Um, so, and if you're in uniform, man, try not to appear in uniform if you can. Um, I really understand like wanting to appear in uniform. Uh, one, it adds validity to you uh, saying that, yeah, you're actually in the military. And two, it's just really cool because you earn the right to wear the uniform, which is like dope. I completely understand that. Uh, I've worn my uniform a couple of times in some posts, but for the most part, try to stay away from that just because if you are wearing the uniform, the military doesn't care if you are making something that's your own opinion. If you're in uniform, that comes off as you actively telling people information from the military. Uh, they can perceive that as you using your uniform to show that it's official, it's official information. If you notice at the end of these videos, I always say, this is a civilian uh, video. This doesn't represent the views of the military and I'm in civilian clothes. Um, these shirts and stuff, um, we have uniform items, which may be brown shirts or yellow shirts, but I wear a jacket over them because they could just be a yellow or brown shirt. It doesn't have to be a uniform item if I have a jacket over it. So hopefully that helps. Two, don't say stupid shit. Um, I kind of said this in the first one, don't be racist, don't be sexist. Also, don't be hateful towards any service members. Um, don't talk bad about your command, your commander, your captain, anything like that. Any type of service member on the military um, stuff, if they find your video and you're talking bad about other service members, one, it's a bad look. Um, people around you in your unit might start avoiding you because they don't want you to put their business on social media. And two, if it's somebody who is higher ranking than you, you could get in really big trouble for saying negative things about your unit or your command. Um, my best advice, honestly, is just don't associate with your command on social media. If you're done with that command, you could tell stories. People tell stories all the time on social media. Um, but I mean, I try not to associate with the actual unit that I'm in now. Um, if it's mentioned, it's for context. It's not to be like, oh my God, this is my unit. I hate my commander. No, bro, don't do that. You're gonna get yourself in a lot of trouble and it's absolutely not worth it. You don't want that smoke anyways, bro, because most of the time people who are making like military videos, it's like, you guys are typically pretty good military members. So just try to keep your head down, focus, you know, don't get caught up breaking the rules just because you're on social media saying stupid shit. Three, and this is just in case you're not like the person I just mentioned, don't break the law on camera, like and post it, especially if you're in the military. And even if you're not in uniform on your social medias, say you have people 
in your command who like follow you and see you do breaking the law actively or you're like underage drinking on camera things like that and you post that and somebody reports that you're fucked don't do that bro so like all this really boils down to is like don't be an idiot and don't make the military look bad if you follow those rules you're gonna be perfectly fine fourth one i mean it was kind of implied in the last one but don't encourage other people breaking the rules on social media either um here at a school i heard this story i didn't actually meet this person but this girl got in a lot of trouble because she was making a video talking about how she used to pretend to be sick in boot camp saying that oh like this is how you pretend to be sick and don't have to do anything and still graduate boot camp she got in huge trouble for this. She had to go through retraining, social media training. And in the end, she ended up keeping her job. But it was a really, really bad look. And it got put on her record forever. And she, she got in a huge trouble, um, especially because, like, one of these big military channels picked it up. So don't do that, bro. Just be smart. Be smart with it. Don't encourage people breaking the rules don't tell people to break the rules man just be sat just be satisfactory as a military member i keep saying that but literally bro don't break the rules follow the ucmj don't make the military look bad don't make yourself look bad and you'll be good to go if you like this video go ahead and leave a like and subscribe um i post military videos and like advice videos occasionally and like travel videos travel stories things like that so i'm um, this video would have been helpful to me, so I'm trying to make videos that would be helpful to pass me. Um, especially because I really do like making videos. I just don't want to put out something that's going to make the military look bad or like the Navy look bad or myself look bad in general. So I kind of have to be more careful, which is why the consistency of these videos coming out has been stagnant. Um, it's mainly just because I don't want to put any harmful information out to you guys i want to be helpful and if you guys have any questions of course leave them in the comments i am very 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 appreciative of this audience and what you guys have done for me um shout out to nikki mgtv because he like commented on one of my videos like a while back ago i was totally geeked about that um i just didn't say anything because that was Whenever I got a little burnt out from making Navy videos, but I'm gonna try to come back and make a couple just because I know it was very helpful to you guys. And, you know, say there's somebody out there who does wanna join the military. Um, I wanna be able to be like a good example and be like, yeah, bro, go do it. Go do what you're meant to do. Go do something better. So yeah, appreciate you guys. Uh, again, this video is about the military, and being a social media creator, but it is not the military's actual opinion. This video doesn't really represent like what the Navy's policies are, or this isn't like official command information. So don't think that it is. Um, appreciate you guys. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Peace.